Buongiorno, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a full review on the new a Very Good Girl Glam, a flanker of Very Good Girls that came out last year. So if you want to know all about the new Very Good Girl Glam or a full comparison between the two, which one I recommend, and if it's worth it to have both of them, then please keep on watching. But before we start, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Noura, and on this channel, I mostly talk about fragrances. So if you are a fragrance lover, then please consider subscribing and also hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload any new video. Also follow me on Instagram, where I post some exclusive content that I don't do here on YouTube. And without further ado, let's start. So let's talk about this beauty here. I definitely love how this bottle looks, like the ombre effect, uh, the color, everything about it, it. It's so, so, so beautiful. So let's talk about the fragrance itself. And I will first mention my first impression on it because sometimes I feel it is important to know how your opinion changes about a fragrance so you get an idea of the feel of the fragrance so first impression let me be totally honest i was not impressed so when i first smelled it i immediately remembered angel nova from mugler which also means that it reminds me of very good girl the original one because angel nova and this one are very very similar i actually have a comparison between the two and also delina i will leave that video link down below if you are interested but i have to mention it has nothing to do with delina this one does have similarities with delina this one doesn't just to put it out there so the main character here is lychee and rose and here it's sour cherry almond and rose again so the first impression i was not really sold on the fragrance mainly because i didn't get the sour cherry that i am looking for so the sour cherry here is a little bit squeaky synthetic you know so i was a little bit put off it was only in like after a few minutes that i started to get the vanilla and the rose so i started to get more aspect of this fragrance however when i continued testing this one I finally started to notice the nuttiness that I didn't get in the first impression. I don't know why, but almost from my second time that I tested it, I got this beautiful nuttiness in the opening. But I have to say, even when I get the nuttiness, it's not there till the dry down. You are left mainly with this fragrance in the dry down with rose, sour cherry and vanilla. And to me, this fragrance smells as if you took the original one and you mixed it with Burberry hair. Now, I did not try this combination. It's just my imagination. I imagine that if I mix these two fragrances, I will get something similar to this one. Overall, this is a subdued version um, with sour cherry of the original one. And I'm saying subdued because it doesn't have the same performance projection and sillage like the original one has. And also because I find like this nuttiness that this one has, like the almond touch, makes it less loud than this one. This is quite a loud fragrance. And honestly, I like this aspect of Very Good Girl Glam. Now, let's get to the comparison. So if you look up the notes of both of these fragrances, you will notice they are quite similar. So you have the same base, you have vanilla and vetiver, in the mid, you have the star of the show, the rose, but definitely the rose is more amped up. Here, they added also Lily in this one, in the very glam, very good girl glam, but I honestly don't get it. It's only in the top notes, like the fruitiness, that you will notice the difference between the two. So you have here lychee and you have here sour cherry. So a way for you to decide which one to get, if you are interested, is by which fruity note uh, you like most. Do you like lychee? Then go for the original one. You like sour cherry? Go for uh, the glam one. And I am not mentioning the almond again here. That is also another factor that differentiates both of them because it's not so predominant and it doesn't remain, at least on my skin, till the end of the 
fragrance. Another way to decide which one to get is by performance. So this one has a very, very good performance. It's, I would say, moderate to strong projection and is quite long lasting. It remains on my skin for six hours plus. So like really a very good performance. This one doesn't project so much. So I would say, yeah, when you first spray it, you will have a moderate sillage, but after two hours, it's more of a weak sillage. When it comes to performance, it's very lacking. Uh, in my skin, this remained only for three hours. After three hours, I had to really come close to my skin to smell it. However, my tip, spray this one on clothes. When you spray this on clothes, you will have very good longevity, but still not a very good sillage. So if performance is an issue for you, I personally uh, don't care about performance so much, but I know that a lot of people do. So if performance is an issue for you, then get yourself the original Very Good Girl. I personally can't decide which one I like most. I like here more like the nuttiness, although it's not very long lasting. I like the subdued effect that this one has. I am bothered a little bit by how loud this one is because I don't like very loud fragrances. So I'm still on the fence which one to keep and which one to declutter. Now, do you need both of these fragrances? Absolutely not. They are too similar. Yes, the fruity note is totally different, but you know, the general effect and the occasion to wear these fragrances are almost identical. So you don't need both of them in your collection. Both of them have this sexy, flirtatious, feminine effect. So they are more of, for me at least, like when I want to evoke this flirtatious vibe. So overall, Very Good Girl Glam is a beautiful, fruity, floral with rose and sour cherry, similar to the original one, uh, that both of them have this feminine, flirtatious, almost girly effect. However, this one has, I would say, overall moderate longevity and sillage. Again, I would highly recommend to spray this one on your clothes to, to amp up the longevity. I personally am a little bit disappointed because I expected this one to be what I wanted uh, La Nuit Trésor Intense to be. So if you don't know, La Nuit Trésor came out uh, this year with a flanker that has sour cherry in it and it's the intense version. However, the sour cherry didn't remain long and I was a little bit disappointed with the fragrance itself and I'm also disappointed with this one. I don't like screechy synthetic fruity notes. I know by definition fruity notes are synthetic but there are degrees and this one is quite synthetic. It's not to the point that I am put off by it, but yeah, we are almost there. And I can't find a sour cherry or even cherry fragrance that I really, really like. So for that, I am a little bit disappointed. However, it's a very nice fragrance if you love rose and sour cherry. I mean, in a perfect world, I would keep this one and the clutter the very good girl uh, if I had an amped up rose here. Yeah, I would say yes. Yeah, this is how I feel about it. Anyway, that was my personal opinion. So that was it. Uh, that was my review on the new Very Good Girl Glam from Carolina Herrera. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will get notified when I upload any new video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Ciao.